Hey guys, it's Astral Wolf and welcome to episode 4 of the Batch Tutorial Series. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to copy and move files. So to copy a file, what you need to do is to type copy and the file that you want to copy. In this example, we will be using blah.txt. So the location of blah.txt, right click, properties, here it is. So you can just copy this and paste it here. So we will be copying blah.txt to and um, our, after writing the location of the file, you need to write its destination. So we will be copying this to the desktop. So you need to put opening and closing apostrophes. in the location and destination of your code so let's try and it has worked it has copied blah.txt and pasted it on the desktop so copying a file you need three things one is the basically the copy command number two is the location of the file which you want to copy it has to be in quotes it will not work if you remove the quotes and then a space and then your destination which is also in quotes so three things the copy command location in quotes destination in quotes now moving a file is also as simple as that just change copy to move and it will do the exact same thing it will move blah.txt to the desktop done So now that you know how to copy and move files, I'm going to teach you two tricks that you can use to shorten your code. Trick number one is that this code will not work on every computer. It will only work on my computer because of this username right here. Not everybody's computer is usernamed AstralWolf. <laughs> so one way you can make this code practically universal is by changing the username to percent username percent I'm sorry I'm typing pretty bad these days so once you have changed your username to percent username percent this com this code will work on practically anybody's computer let's move it back here as you can see it has moved blah.txt from here to here so now that you know how to make your code universal, I'm going to teach you yet another way to shorten your code. That is by using percent %cd%. Percent. Whoa, 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 Astro Wolf, what the hell is that? Well, dear viewers, percent %cd% percent means current directory. So, for example, blah.txt is located in new folder on the desktop. And the bad file that we are using to move blah.txt from new folder to the desktop is also located in new folder when the the bad file and the thing you want to move or copy is located in the same area you can just erase all this location that is to percent cd percent when the batch file reads this it'll see move and whatever is in the same location as i am move it to the desktop so after writing percent cd percent, we need to write the blah.txt of course. So when the batch file, when you click on the batch file, what it does is it reads move and then percent cd percent, which means that the same location which the batch file is in. So it sees these two files and then it sees blah.txt. Then it act, then it uses this and copies and moves it to the desktop. So just one more time, percent cd percent can be used if the location of the batch file and the thing which you want to move or copy is in the same location. It will not work if move.bat is located in the desktop because there's no blah.txt on the desktop. Not yet anyway. So yeah, these are the two tricks that you can use to copy and move your file. 
in the next episode i will be showing you a bit more elaboration on the start command so thank all of you for watching and uh, yeah if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up